Hey, how's it going, my light workers? <laughs> Where you guys at? It's dark out here. It's kind of spooky, huh? Ooh. Anyways, I, I was. It's a long day, but got me thinking a lot. So I'm thinking about, you know, usually when we say. Man, I'm battling, man. I'm just battling some stuff, you know. I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm battling some stuff. I got some sin that I'm kind of struggling with that I need to give to the Lord. <laughs> and, you're th and then, like, you're just thinking, like, man, you're jacking off, huh? <laughs> Sorry. And I, and I know you're, just, like, I'm... You're like, oh, don't... Why are you saying it like that? Like... He's under demonic oppression, you know, like he's trying, he's struggling, he's battling. And yeah, you, you are struggling and you are battling, but not for the reasons why you think. The porn isn't why you're struggling. Right? Because, talk about demon possession or whatever, oppression. In that case, in this case, you are willingly attaching yourself to these demons that work on your subconscious, like on a subconscious level of your needs, pain, and like emotional, you know, trauma. And they work on that level and you're just willingly because you're desperately to get those those needs met like you don't see that it's actually coming from from a subconscious place of, of trauma and you're actually coping so it's a uh, it's not really a good thing to demonize yourself. Say you fall into sin and you look up something that you shouldn't look up, okay? Porn. Or you fall into that, you know? But then you fall also, the de those those demons, they want to work on it. They, they want to work on that fear, you know? You, you let yourself demonize it when it's really that it's a part of you that's that's crying out for some for help, you know, for for healing, because you're actually just coping with some needs, and so like we've we've changed the usage, you know, we perverted sexuality, and and that's just everyone knows that in, in Christianity, but to what extent, you know? To even in healthy quote unquote relationships they're um they're not really relating to each other sexually in a healthy way so if you think about it every time that you get the urge think about where is this coming from why is this coming like and most of the time you'll realize that You're just like, you're tired and it's like, man, it just would really feel really good to just release right now. But it's like, what do you like? So you're using your sexuality as a coping mechanism because your life is stressful. When really that sexuality is meant for connection and intimacy. So right off the bat, you can see it, like, even in, in your own relationship, I bet, like, and then it causes friction between, because you're actually using your partner as a, um, as a masturbation toy instead of 
someone who has feelings and needs and, and that's the same thing that you know you know we already know that porn does is you know, objectify because that's what you're doing you're just you know using it as a means to an end and so then and and, and that's why the, the, the another lie I I feel like is that this thing that you need to you need to have a release I don't think that that's true because it takes the focus off of the the process <laughs> the intimacy you know the connection you know and then it's as if the best part is just the end when the best part is the whole thing and the end is just the end and also for the guys guys the semen retention is legit man like like you know the feeling after you let your seed go you know you, you feel there's that refractory period you know where you you, you feel weak or you know estrogen kicks up and and I think that that's the like the enemy put that in the system too, where where he we're supposed to think that oh if we if we don't release then we're you know it's bad for you and it's gonna cause damage and and this and that and it's good to to release every so often because it builds up and this and that but actually that's your creative your 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 power source you know your life source your um you drive, you know what I mean? And it's been, because of all these lies, it's been so out of alignment that we're chasing things that we're not supposed to be chasing. But Yeah, and, um, and I know you, you can get to a point on the scene of retention where you can you know, because you think, oh, super attention. Then it's like, I want pleasure, because you know, that's actually a need that we, you know, that we possess that in a healthy way. But just understanding that you can have an orgasm without ejaculation, and you can have touch, and you can have release, you know, in, in other ways, in other healthy ways, you know. But when you when you know that, the only reason why you're getting horny is because you're. Uh, feeling tired or you know what I mean like it's something to self-soothe and, and then but it's hard to see that but once you realize why okay, you're self-soothing then you then you have to even go deeper you know and realize why am I self-soothing why why do I feel like I need to do this you know what I mean like aren't, especially Christians aren't, don't you have the love of Christ don't you shouldn't you overcome like isn't his love enough and I think it's because we demonize the part of ourselves that is crying out to, for love in the wrong ways. That Christ wants to love. He wants to teach you how to love that. But instead, we put shame on that person. We guilt that person and we beat that person up. And, and want to suffer, make that person suffer when Christ suffered for us. Because I've had, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I have victory in this area because... I have understanding of of where they're coming from, you know. And once you realize that you want intimacy over just comfort or just like, you know what I mean? Like, because it's going to totally make you objectify people because that's what it, you, <clears throat> or even just in your relationship, you know. Like, if you think that you, you need to release every so often, you're going to be putting that pressure on your wife if she's not coming through. You know what I mean? And that puts strain on on your hair. But it's like you don't even need to. And then when you when you have, like when you uh when you're with your partner and you're able to have sex and you don't even need to ejaculate and you get your fill. It's like it just keeps going. The attraction just keeps going. And you keep your strength 
and you keep your creativity, you keep your drive, you keep you keep your power. It's amazing. And you realize <laughs> it's like, man, the only like it puts it it puts the everything back in order. Because you're not just using the the woman for for your needs to be met. Now you, now you can take care of business and let the let the woman do what what she needs to do. You know what I mean? And then you could take care of each other more easily because there's not this this pressure that's that's put on that also you know keeps perpetuating this false love, you know. And we'll get into that later, but you know, I don't want to run it up too much, but I have a, have a good night, y'all.